7.53 is the time. It's the biggest communication company in the UK. This morning, BT has revealed its latest results and Steph can talk about all of that for us. Morning. Yes, morning to you both. Lots out from BT over the last few days. Uh, morning, everyone. Yes, the telecoms group posted full-year core earnings of £6.2 billion for the year, and that's up 2% compared to the year before that. Now, it's a bit better than expected, mainly thanks to cost-cutting and strong demand for broadband. It's also announced plans to muscle into Sky's dominance of sport on telly after winning a three-year deal to show 38 Premier League games a season. Well, we can talk now to BT's retail chief executive, Gavin Patterson. Good morning to you, Gavin. Good morning. So you're going to be offering Premier League football matches for free. How can you afford to do that? Well, it's all about broadband. We're, uh, our objective is really to get broadband into as many people's homes around the country as we possibly can. And we know that sport is, is something that a, a significant chunk of the population are, are interested in. And we want to use sport as a way of, uh, of doing that. So, but how are you going to make money from it? Because it's very expensive to offer all of that for free, isn't it? Yeah, the, the way to look at it, people want, these days want to buy their products in a bundle. So their voice, their broadband and their TV in a bundle. So if you look at it across the whole, um, that is how we, we intend to make money. Mm. Can you cope with the demand, though? Because looking at your website this morning, it's saying that at the moment you can't sign up because of unprecedented levels of demand and to bear with you can you cope with it yes we can um, there has undoubtedly been a spike in the last 24 hours um, I'm not surprised in some ways about that um, there's been a huge level of interest in this because it's such a great offer but you need to sort your services out don't you because you can't really have people waiting around well they won't be waiting around I must they I can are at the moment you. though I can assure you they'll be ready in time. OK, and uh, another thing whenever we're talking about broadband is lots of people contact us and say that they still can't get a decent broadband service. When are things going to get better across the UK? Well, we've been rolling out super fast broadband over the last couple of years. We've now got 15 million homes passed across the whole of the UK uh, and that will rise to over 90% of the UK over the next few years. Uh, and that's a, a really fabulous product. Uh, with speeds of up to 80 megabits uh, download and up to 20 megabits upload and uh, it's at some very very good price points as well. Okay Gavin thank you very much for your time this morning that's Gavin Patterson there the BT's retail chief executive. Steph thank you. Thanks very much Steph time now 755. That